I'm Josh Bruneau, and you're watching The American Athlete. I've been in the water my whole life. I started with those baby swimming classes with my mom when I was very young and I grew up on the central coast of California, so I've always just been around water. I don't know if I was a natural swimmer, but I've always just loved being in the ocean, being in a pool on a hot day, and it's just permeated through my whole life. I've always just enjoyed being in that environment, and I'm lucky that that, that enjoyment has stuck with me even into this professional career. The stroke that I primarily do is the breaststroke, and it's quite interesting because it's the slowest stroke, which means there's a lot of unique ways to try and make it faster. There's a lot of different things that you have to move and play around with and adjust. It's just like a constant puzzle trying to figure this out and get the slowest way to move through the water to be a little bit faster. My training schedule is very involved. I'd say maybe 35-ish hours a week are dedicated to swimming in some way or another. Whether that's lifting, whether that's actual time in the water, whether that's recovery, stuff like massage, yoga, foam rolling, stretching. If you're really, really dedicated to it, which I consider myself to be, it does take over your life. It is a full-time job, but I love that commitment and my dedication to it just fuels me and drives me forward. I think any swimmer who perseveres and has a long career at a professional level in this sport is going to face some adversity, myself included. When I was swimming in college, it was pretty tough to maintain a balance between a physics degree at UC Berkeley and doing the training that I needed to do in order to get myself to that Olympic level. At times, it was very, very tough to push through and convince myself that I actually could accomplish both of those goals. I'd say the best term for it would be, I'm kind of forged by fire. I had to, to struggle through that to really grind and to use all the resources I had available to help me, whether that was tutoring a cow or just relying on my teammates and coaches to help me, to keep me accountable, and just to push me through. I think coming out of it, you learn a lot about yourself, you learn some resilience, you learn time management skills for sure. That's the thing that all swimmers have in common. And I think that there's some valuable life lessons that persevering in this sport can teach you. Competing at the Olympics is every swimmer's dream, and to be able to go to Rio and live that out was just unreal. There's about six weeks between US Olympic trials and the Olympic Games, and every single day during that six week period, I was just in awe of my surroundings. Like, wow, I'm eating lunch with Michael Phelps. Wow, I'm training with the US Olympic team. Wow, we're in the Olympic Village eating at the dining hall. There was not a single mundane moment during those six weeks and my ultimate goal in the sport of swimming since I was a little kid has always been to become an Olympian. And once I did that, once I accomplished that goal at the US Olympic Trials, I was kind of done. I, I, could, I could have retired at that moment and been happy with the sport. Fortunately, swimming and competing in the Olympic final was a relatively nerve-free experience for me. I was at peace with whatever the outcome was gonna be and I was able to really just let it flow naturally. I think that helped me to fortunately get my hands on the wall second and earn a medal for Team USA, which is the greatest honor in the sport I could ever imagine. And I'm working hard to ensure that I can do that again. I think the best advice for young swimmers is that this truly is a sport where you get out what you put into it. If you work hard and you figure out what the fastest way is for you to get your body through the water to the other side of the pool and back, you're gonna improve in swimming. It's a great sport, you should have fun with it. Being in the pool with your friends is enjoyable. You should appreciate that and not let the monotonous hard work take over. It's a rewarding sport and I think that if you enjoy the process of improving yourself, there's nothing better. I think it's a little risky to make winning a medal or achieving a certain ranking a goal because that's dependent on other people. I like to rely on myself, control what I can control, and set my goals based off that. What really drives me in the sport right now is my thought that I'm capable of going a lot faster than I've gone before. I know that I can push my time lower and I'm pretty close to the world record. I truly think that if I can figure more things out about my swimming, 
figure out timing in my stroke, figure out consistency in training, figure out athleticism in the weight room. There are seconds that can be dropped there. Like I said, it's a constant puzzle to figure it out, but it's so rewarding to be able to do that work, study that film, lift the weights, swim the yardage, and for it to finally pay off and all come together and culminate in one perfect race, that's what I'm looking for.